What's going on guys? In my last video, I started a series called um, This Week in the Markets. And um, I've talked about this, the, that I was looking at this pair here uh, on the weekly. It looked like we were heading towards this, uh, like last week, uh, headed inside of this resistance. And we saw a shooting star type of uh, candlestick, which suggested um, downwards pressure. So what I did today is I, uh, I shorted it because I was seeing this pattern on the one hour chart where you have a megaphone formation, which uh, suggests to me that the, the uh, impulse wave that we see here was probably uh, over. And um, I took a chance on uh, by shorting the break uh, over here of this support. So right now I'm short in the in this pair, but it's um it's complementary to my shorting of the uh, Looney, the US dollar versus the Canadian uh, that I was uh, pyramiding on. I made two videos about this last week. You can go watch them if you haven't. Um, and right now the trade is uh, heading towards a double top formation, uh, which is uh, probably good for my uh, position because if you remember last week I shorted in this zone uh, over here, uh, hoping that, uh, well, I shorted here, here and here, and then I got stopped out uh, on one of my lots and the other two lots were um, basically uh, exited uh, flat. And uh, I tried again uh, after this uh, here on the break and then on the, that break again. And I've let, I've kept the position open for the weekend. And now this is uh, what it's uh, looking like today. So it's a good sign that we're going towards this because uh, it confirms my bias towards the downside. Um, but the same time i gotta i don't want to add right away because i want to i want to see this break convincingly like right now it's just uh, messing around but it could reverse and do a long tail and then uh, uh, head back uh, higher and because we have these two highs that are the current resistance and uh, what I was explaining in my last video is that I was afraid it would do this again and maybe even take out all the stops here before going that's very typical in a Wyckoff type of uh, scenario but I kept my short uh, because I didn't know if it was going to do that or not so now it's breaking on the downside so it's looking good but it could still do that uh, scenario um, which is a risk so what I'm what I will do now is uh, I will wait to see if we have a convincing break and then I'm going to wait to see if we have a bounce that I can short again uh, on the downside. If it does that, then I'll be interested in in adding to my position in my to my two lots that I've been shorting. I also shorted the uh, Euro Canadian for the same idea but i wanted to have a bit of diversification because it looked very weak and um i'm already up 18 pips on it so it's not a lot but it's still uh better than nothing so i shorted around here i'm guessing and um it was showing it was showing weakness uh, compared to the other ones Right now, I'm I'm gonna see if it uh, if it's able to uh, hang on uh, to uh, go through this support and uh, hang on close to the the support and accumulate there. If it does that, or if it or a small retracement and then breaks, I'll probably add to my position. But uh, right now, that was just a test trade, and uh, I'll see uh, how it goes. But this support is gonna be very key. Uh, because uh, it could very well bounce uh, aggressively once it touches that support. So uh, that's the uh, update for now. Quick update, we are Tuesday morning, it's 8.32 in the morning and um, I exited um, some of my trades. Uh, last night, Euro Canadian, I exited on the uh, support. I was afraid that it would do something like this as I discussed uh, yesterday. 
This one is out. I made a few pips um, on the uh, Great Britain Canadian. It uh, it has gone uh, my way now. It's in the process of retracing, but I like this break. I think um, I think it's a bit early to uh, exit right now. It's at the uh, bottom area of the uh, pattern, so it's normal for it to uh, do some type of retracement. Uh, if ever price gets back in here, I will get out. But right now, uh, well, my stop will get hit anyways because I've protected my entry at this point. But I would uh, scrap the idea basically. But right now, I'm expecting uh, some type of downwards movement. And I would short uh, on a uh, test of this. Uh, I'll wait for a break and then I'll short the test of this if I see it's holding on a small time frame. So as far as my plan, it's around here that I'll add to my position and lower my stop loss um, to lock in some profits. So that's for the Great Britain pound versus Canadian. The Canadian, I was afraid of this. It hasn't uh, been able to um, penetrate successfully the downside. That there hasn't been a close below the uh, the low here. So So these would be uh, around the uh, the two resistances that I see short term. What I see here is that uh, it could it could come back to test these uh, these highs as I was um, afraid of my last videos it could go back i think the one of the scenarios is that it is that it goes back here and then the pyramid will be uh scrapped but right now i have no risk uh on the pyramid so i'm not really worried right now the the way i trade this is i um I want to hold this for as long as possible and if i get taken out i get taken out but i'd rather play with the house money right now because I have no risk on two positions uh, on the short side. So if it goes back down here, it will be a very good um, shorting spot. And if it goes back to mess here, then I'll probably be take well, I will certainly get taken out and, uh, and I'll see if it penetrates this slightly i might short that right away because usually these are really great uh, spots to uh catch stops and uh, traders with their pants down so i might short this and then see what it does because if it if it goes back on the downside this will be a very low risk trade um and then i'll be able to rebuild the pyramid because um Usually the market moves in three wave structures. So I wouldn't be surprised if it does something like this or this. Um, as a typical distribution uh, pattern. So that's what I'm seeing right now. Hopefully it just kisses against this and then shorts again, because then I will have the position that I was looking for on the short side of this. But um, right now it is an uptrend on this um, time frame. But we are against this resistance. So this is the main focus. If this uh, is able to hold, I will have a nice uh, downtrend in this fashion. Likely. 
because you get the point, like a really aggressive one. But right now it could be that it is accumulating in order to penetrate this on the upside and then go up from there. So everything is possible. I've made a, an educated guess that it is a rejection, strong rejection here, and that it will continue for a few weeks. But I could be wrong and you always have to keep that in mind. So that's my uh, update for today. All right, little follow up. So my uh, day trade is um, almost uh, springing into action. So right now what's happening is uh, we tested this resistance over here. And um, I said earlier that um, I would short this if we uh, if we break it convincingly. And we are almost there. And I think that once uh, once this support goes, uh, it should be very good on the downside. So I'm hoping for that. So we'll see. Uh, and at that point, I will add to my position. So this video I'm making because I'm trying to film the process that I go through to pyramid because I don't see anybody else do this uh, on YouTube because I don't think many um actually do it so i wanted to uh this do this follow-up uh, with you guys to explain the process so if you watch my last videos about uh, pyramiding you will know that now i would be close to entering the third leg of this uh, pyramid and i will try to hold it for several weeks and um, out of risking very very small percentages of my account I will be able to make several percentage points uh, within a week or two. And if you repeat that process over and over throughout a year, then that's how uh, you can make a lot of money in Forex trading. All right, follow up. We are Wednesday, it's 10.25 AM. And today there were some news uh, on the uh, US dollar and Canadian uh, early morning. And, um, it turned out that it went in my uh, in the favor of my trade here and uh, of my pyramid. So if you go back a few videos, um, I have a small series that I started to explain the process that I go through and I shorted uh, in this zone twice. And now I shorted again. Um, I had positions I wasn't even in front of the computer. And I had positions that got uh, filled. Um, on the short side here on the break, because I figured if we have accumulation here, and this uh, breaks uh, again, if it's not able to go back up, then uh, my trade is correct. So now I have three positions. Um, I'll look at it on small time frames because I might shave off a bit of a profit here just to have a positive experience. Uh, but um, I wouldn't be surprised here if we have to uh, go back to uh, test this. It, it would be normal price action to test it uh, before uh, anything um, happens uh, on the downside from here. It looks like this resistance here is pretty strong. Um, and I'll extend this one just in case but uh, this looks like it is the uh, current resistance to look at. So this one got broken. So now it is a confirmation of a double top and a typical technical analysis would suggest that uh, we would take the top of the double top and then uh, add that to the uh, break, which we could say is around here. And that would give us an approximate uh, target for this trade which coincides to this low over here. 
it's possible. I usually cash out before the um, before the target just to make sure I get a fill. Uh, but it all depends on the um, on the size of my orders. Um, so that's about the. Uh, That's what I'm looking at right now for the uh, US Canadian. So now we have a third leg. And now from here, I would feel confident to lower my stop uh, on these uh, over here. So now, as the pyramid goes my way, I lock in some profits. And at some point when I have three, four, five uh, legs to the pyramid, I eventually start playing the small swings because I know that the longer I hold the pyramid, the more chances of it reversing in my face. And the goal is to make profits at the end of the day. I do want to maximize that. And the reason I make pyramids is because of money management. It's all it is. It's a money management scheme. Why? Because if I go in, let's say I went in uh, with five uh, lots, and that doesn't matter on your trading size, but me, I use uh, the first lot is usually 0.5% of my uh, account that I would risk on the first uh, attempt with a fairly wide stop. And then I would add another 0 0.5, another 0 0.5, another 0 0.5 to eventually have a bigger position. And then I will add, but also into other crosses that have that same uh, one of the, um, like right now it's the Canadian dollar that I'm uh, going with. So now I've shorted the uh, Great Britain pound Canadian and I'll, I'll talk about this. Yesterday I did a, a small scalp on the Euro Canadian, but everything is related to that same idea. And then I will uh, try to um, manage the position and manage my risk uh, with fairly tight stops on the other positions. But these are my day trades if you want. But on my main position right now, which is the US Canadian, I'm trying to milk it for everything that it's worth. Um, so this is my cash cow and I want to milk it. And so right now I'm looking, I got to keep reminding myself uh, for psychological reasons of why I'm inside of that trade. And the why is on the weekly right now. So I'm trading a bounce on a bigger time frame, and I entered at uh, several points and now I keep shorting and shorting. And then until there is a reasonable target, because it doesn't mean that it's going to go all the way here to the, this low, it's possible that it will stop before and now I have an idea, uh, approximate idea of the minimum point at which I will start to take some profits off the table. But it doesn't mean that I will exit the whole pyramid, I might exit just a portion of it. And, and that will make my month like it's, it's the, how I, um, how I trade and that might my style might not be uh, adequate for you, depending on your experience and your um, mental setup, like some people are very impatient, and they need especially in the age of TikToks and instant gratification, a lot of people think that they'll make more money scalping. And that's okay. I know plenty of traders that make a lot of money uh, scalping. I used to do it. But uh, I had a, a net around me because if I lost a certain amount in a day, I would be locked out for the day and then I would come back the next day fresh. I and I didn't um, go into a mental spiral that would make me bust my accounts. And the way I trade now is the way I found for myself not to go into a mental spiral. I trade small amounts relative to my account size. And um, it helps me keep my head and I keep adding to the positions until I have a, a big position uh, that represents a lot of money for me. So at that point, I 
take that money off the table. And that's how I, uh, I'm able to continue trading week after week, month after month and year after year. And since I've been doing that, I haven't, uh, I didn't bust an account. I didn't have any, uh, depressions or any type of situation where my head was being messed with, uh, by the market. So now let's take a look at the other trade that I got on. I had shorted this here and um, now I just added to my position because it is showing rejection and I was expecting a uh, retracement from the get go. So now I have add, I've added a, a second leg and uh, I will try to short this zone here. I expect that this will happen a bit sooner. I don't know how far it will go, but um, a guesstimate would be around here. And this coincides with uh, a previous zone here. It wouldn't be uh, surprising for price to go there. So right now I added to the position and I would be probably adding some more if I see a break and a successful retest, I would short on the uh, reaction on the retest. But um, right now I'm getting pretty heavy into that uh, currency, the Canadian. So I've got to um, take it easy on the pedal. I got to uh, wait to be patient uh, until a reaction. Like right now, I wouldn't uh, keep adding to this, even though it's going lower. Because you see, it's already starting to get uh, pretty extended. So what I would want is to uh, add if ever um, I see a reaction or if I see some type of um, range that develops, and it can't break from that, then I would trade I would short again the uh, the other break. Uh, because it would be a continuation pattern. But right now I'm happy with my position. I just got to chill, go play chess, read some books, and um, just uh, do other things with my time until and let the, uh, the position work in my favor. All right, so I'm, I'm seeing two things that I really don't like at this point. And uh, one of them is this. If you look at the if you look at this, it's a, um, a downward triangle and um, with a snap. And this is one of the patterns that I trade uh, on bigger time frames. And I really don't want to see this when I when I, I don't want to be on the opposite side of that. And we're seeing a lot of rejection on a pretty big time frame, the four hour chart. So I decided to um, just exit the trade in taking into account that uh, very soon, uh, there's like right now it's um, 1.38 p.m. And at two o'clock, there is a federal funds rate and FOMC statement. And then another one at 2.30 uh, FOMC press conference. And to me, it tells me that this is an environment in which I will probably get just stopped out and um, like it's going to be volatile. So for that reason, I'm going to take my profits and um, run uh, for now because um, I don't like the look of this. So I guess this is going to be the um, the last uh, video in this series uh, in this example because um, um, I don't see a reason to stay short at this point if I see this type of uh, formation because this could really easily go uh, to the uh, next um, resistance over here. So 
All right, so I just wanted to show the uh, update. It's uh, 2.40 uh, p.m. Uh, we're after both uh, news that uh, occurred here. These two uh, news, they're still in the press conference, I'm guessing, but uh, it's possible now that it's going to go back to the downside. But uh, these types of structures, uh, you know, I trade from structure to structure. And if I see something like this, uh, a triangle like that, usually um, I go on the opposite side. And while it's possible that it continues, I've, I got out of the trade and I'm out of my pyramid. But I wanted to show you the type of volatility that you can expect when you have um, high impact news. And for that reason, I'm, I'm happy I got out. I, I made the good profits. My week is over. Basically, I got out of I'm flat on every trade this week. And I'm going to take the rest of the week off and probably work on some uh, videos for you guys. Um, so we'll see. So I hope that series was uh, helpful to some of you. If it was, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next videos.